Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Pretty well. Good to hear. It's great. Okay, let me check this real quick. Okay, how many are we? We are five. Okay, let's just wait for your classmates a little bit. Meanwhile, remember, you can have a conversation with your classmates, start the topic, talk about yesterday's class if you were not here as well. We're almost done with, your, with our first week, right? Our second week, our second week. Hey, Jocelyn, how was your work today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Today I didn't work. I went to the east. Oh, come yes. on. It was Thanksgiving. There were no calls. Mm, yes, but in this case, uh, the thing is that I got an emergency. I make some exams and I got that appointment since days ago. So I went today and I will go on Sunday. Mm. So sad, oh, but anyway, yeah. I needed this day and I in my vacation is already over. Discretionary day is already over. So what I need just to do when I need to do something personally is just to request for a change. You can only change your schedule with another co uh, coworker. Another wow. coworker or by myself. I can work on our day. Yes. At least. At least yes, but I received a pavito proyo here in my hand. <laughs> um, uh, yes, we received a delivery pavito proyo for Thanksgiving. That's great. And what about you? <sighs> it was boring. I slept like for two hours at work. I just got a call. Um, I just got a call around 5.15 a.m. and then no calls until 8, then another one at 9, then at about, at about 11, they started uh, side, side jacking me, you know, like shadowing me, shadowing me. And through, through Zoom, the, the new trainer, the new trainees were, um, were shadowing me, listening to my calls. Oh, nice. That was funny because I, I got three zeros already in, but they still take me as an example. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, yes, teacher, but you will be, you will be improve. You will improve. Uh, I don't know if I will continue. I'm thinking about continuing, you know, a job. A job is just, um, how do you say? Ankla, Mr. Google. <laughs> Welcome. Ankla. Yeah, Anchor. Uh, anchor. <laughs> anchor. Ah, yeah. You say anchor. I use that word every everything in my work, but really, in my context, it's like a or uh, an object is related to another object in way height or or on on the left, how pixels or on the trading how how much pixels have, have the uh, on difference in between that two objects. What's the anchor? Or yes. maybe anchorage? Anchor, ancla, mm, anchorage. Anchorage, right? Ancla. Okay, that's odd. That's odd. First time I hear that in that context, okay. 
but yeah, <laughs> job is just for me the way I see things uh, now after so many years is that a job is just an anchor, you know, that stops you from being great. A job is just an anchor that stops you from doing great. <laughs> Amarre dice cuando lo quiere interpretar. <laughs> Amable. Amarre, o sea, de, de amar un amarre. Oh, an, yeah. an anchor. <laughs> yeah, a relationship. A relationship can be an anchor. Yes. Totally. A toxic relationship will definitely be an anchor in your life. You have to pursue your dreams, you know, and don't stop until you achieve them. It's not easy. It's not easy because you have to let go. Just like yesterday, remember? Some part of the reading was talking about letting go things. Don't take things personal. And learn. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from life. That's very important. Oh, my God. You're so inspired today. Okay. Hmm. I'm just waiting a little bit. Okay. Now we are 15. Let's do the attendance so we can start the class with 15 students. It's Friday. No, Thursday the 25th. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good evening. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Here today. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Yes. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Alarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. So. Okay. What will you do if you won lottery? What will you do if you won the lottery? Lottery, lottery. What will you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, First thing that I will do, of course, is the most logical thing that any human being in our days will do. And that's paying my debts. <laughs> I will first, I would first pay my debts. Okay. Then I will rebuild my house. I will buy the house next door and I will build a whole new house, a strong house. Or maybe I will invest the money on, on properties, you know. That, that's a good idea to invest in land, 
it mm -hmm. all depends, but it all depends on how much money I want, right? Mm, definitely, I will repair my car or restore my car. <laughs> Uh, just live it the way I want it. I wouldn't sell my car. I will never sell my car. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I will get some surgery. Nah. <laughs> I will never do surgery on myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, but definitely I will go to the gym, but I won't stop working. I will invest on my own English Academy, maybe help help the poor help the poorest people in this country. That will be my greatest thought if I won the lottery. I will get divorced. Ah, no, I'm not getting divorced. Let's see, what else, what else? What else could you do? Oh, maybe, of course, donate some money, help people with that money. That's a good idea. What about you? What would you do if you won the lottery? You got it? Remember, models models so simple guys let's practice come on don't stop speaking let's go Come on, Mike, Caroline. If I won the lottery, I will buy a house for my mother, the big house for my mother, because she have uh, much uh, pets and he, uh, she need uh, a big house and start a very nice business, maybe. I have a taqueria, but uh, if I won the lottery, maybe I would. Maybe would, I would. I would. I would. I would. Sorry, teacher. Maybe I would uh, expand, uh, expand my the business. business. Uh -huh. Maybe um, I hire this no, con, contra. I, I will hire. I hire a personal training because I, <laughs> I if I like the, the fitness. <laughs> I would remember. I would. I would. I would. I will hire a personal trainer. Personal trainer. Because, because I would like to be fit. Ah, okay. Because I would like to be fit. To be, to be. And maybe I hire a teacher. <laughs> I would hire. I would hire a, a, the teacher, teacher. A, a, to teach me a, a better English. <laughs> oh, okay. Not me. <laughs> yes, you, teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That's expensive. <laughs> I, I, if I won the lottery. <laughs> if I won the lottery. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Remember, third person, because my mother has many pets. Okay, has. As yeah. third person. Keep yes. going. You see the name? Goats and road is like bending raises. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's that's is the word. Uh, um, that's real estate. You say it's real estate in English. Bienes raices, real estate. Oh, real estate, Re yes. Real estate, real estate. And that will be my, my, you see, my, my goals. If you win the, <laughs> the lottery. How, in many, how many money would you like to win? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of <laughs> yeah, how many money? Say your mom. <laughs> how many? 
<risa> da, how you say, donde alcance. <risa> Oh, man, it will you like to have, okay? This is an easy ask. Easy question, yeah? The check will be ready for Google tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> How okay. many? Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Um, car. Um, for my sister and, and for me. What kind of car? Oh, uh, how do you say cuatro por cuatro? Four by four, four by four. Four by four, yeah. Do you want a four by four? I, I like the, the things, height, height. Big? Uh, tall? Big, yes, the big. I, you like big? Things. I prefer, yeah. Big, big cars. Big cars, just cars. Yeah. Oh, no, no. If I won the lottery. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Uh, I would like to, um, to buy a house. To buy a house? Uh -huh. To buy, no, two or three houses. For my three, sister, two or three for houses. Me. Yes, and uh, houses and even for business businesses. Uh, like to rent. You mean properties to rent? Yes. Okay, next. In my case, the first thing, pay my debts, then change my car, and then help my parents. And what car would you like to have? Uh, pickup too. A pickup? Yes. What pickup? Maybe. It's which you have 200 or Toyota Hilux mm -hmm. and help need, uh, help to the people that poor people, poor people. Help the poor. Uh, the poor, yeah. And how? how? Um, there are many, many things you can do. For example, people need food, medicine, or that kind of, of things. Uh, and travel to countries that I wish to, to know. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody has mentioned visiting other countries, right? Traveling. Yes, Carolina was talking about. She was talking about where will you go? Me or everybody? Where will you go? What's the uh, the best country in the world for you? For me, Europe, maybe Venice. Yes, I was Venice? in Venice, but fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. But I will. I would like to go again. Yeah. Venice, Venice. Yeah. Yes. And for me, Europe it's. Is... Go ahead. Uh, Europe is, is. It's a nice, <coughs> nice place. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, and for me, it's a difficult question but the principal country uh um united united emirates emiratos arabes how do you say this country yeah why arab 
Emirates, Emirates, Arab, Arab Emirates. Emirates. There's another name for it. Uh, I'll Google it. I can remember. Because um, Dubai is um, the, the Dubai is a city. The states, states, some something like that. But the country Arab Emirates. Arab Emirates. Arab Emirates. There is an abbreviation for it. Why something like that? But then United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. Emirates. Why do you want to go there? They're gonna kill you. No, of course no. <laughs> what do you say that? How do you say what? They they will kill me. They will kill you, yeah. Because you know, people, I mean, they don't like women. They they mistreat women in that country. But those countries. But I think it's like for example, if I marry with a um, Emirati, with a, with a, a, Arab, a, Arab, Arab, um, and I must follow the rules and something like that. But like tourists, tourism, as a tourist, as a tourist, no. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, Sandra, Ada. In my case, teacher is uh, the principal is about the devils in my house and say the money my daughter education and change the new cars and travel in many countries, for example, in make a Maya route. It's a beautiful. Uh, a beautiful beach and a beautiful um, cities, cities. Cities. Mm -hmm. uh, invest in the stock market. That's a good idea too. On Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. Sandra. Bitcoin teacher. Bitcoin, of course, a million My dollars. In the Bitcoin, no. <laughs> it's a good thought as well. we'll duplicate your money, yeah. Okay, okay. Keep going, guys. Um, let's go. Let's go back. Say twenty-four. Okay, okay. Let's keep going. Who wants to be a volunteer to answer this question? Who wants to be the first volunteer? What question, teacher? The same question. What would you do if you won the lottery, Salema? Buy real estate. Buy real estate. That's it. And help uh, people that rescue animals. People who rescue animals. From the streets. From the streets, okay. That's awesome. Humanitarian actions. Okay, select someone, Sulema. Um, let me see. Um, Carolina? Carolina. One, two, three, go. What would you do if you won the lottery? Well, 
Mm. If I won the lottery, lottery, I would definitely buy two or three houses. Uh, one for my mom, for my sister, or even to my the other members of my family. Um, I like to. I would. I would like to travel to other countries. Uh, you know, get to know cultures. Um, I would. I would buy houses to rent. It would be my project. Uh, or, la or like my business. Um, I could invest. Um, uh, on uh, other projects. Um, if I go invest in my family's health, if, if it's necessary, um, I go buy a car for my sister, um, for me. And the, like the consequence, uh, make the money, money multi multiply, multi multiply. And the I money. go, uh, and I go, it will also help from foundations for animals, dogs, cats. You will create a foundation. Sorry? You will create a foundation? Yes, or health. Shelter. A shelter. A shelter for animals. Awesome, good job. Okay, one more, just one more, Caroline. Who's gonna talk next? Um, Judy. Well, it's, it's the question about lottery, right? Yeah, what well, would you do if you won the lottery? Well, the first thing that I I think that I I want the lottery is invest and uh, real estate uh, or or buy an apartment to use to for rent and maybe buy a, a new car and travel uh, uh, some place uh, some places but that, that's to, to some places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some place travel travel to some places, in in invest in education too. Maybe that's other other for your daughter, uh, right? And maybe she's a good option to 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 buy stock buy in the stock market too. Invest. Invest in the stock market. That's it. That's a good idea. Okie dokie. Let's start with your topic. We're going to be talking on page 19 today. You know, we have some um, vocabulary practice. Let me check it again. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first I'm just gonna show you some new vocabulary or uh, vocabulary that we are talking about constantly on this topic. Uh, now we're talking about transportation. We started with the distribution channels. Now we're talking about transportation, logistics, right? And everything that is involved on logistics. <clears throat> so, um, Let's talk about some terms. Point of origin. Point of origin. Here. Point of origin. Point of origin. Point of origin. Origin. I'm trying to make this bigger. Wait a minute. There we go. Okay. Point of origin. Origin. Point of origin. Origin. It's not origin, origin, no, it's origin, origin. What is this? Um, Sule, can you read please, Lema? Okay. Location 
or a station where a carrier receives a shipment for a shipper for transportation to the destination. Shipping for as from a shipper for transportation to the destination. So that is a point of origin. POO, point of origin, location or station where a carrier receives a shipment from a shipper to for transportation to the destination. Can you give me an example? An example. Google, how do you say aduana? What do you say? What do you say aduana in English? Let me share. Toll, the toll. Toll, toll point. I, I, I don't hear, I didn't hear well. Aduana. 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 Ah, aduana. <laughs> yeah. Ah, aduana. I know. Let me check. Aduana. Uh -huh. Aduana is cost, customs. Customs. Customs house. Custom house. Send it, send it on the chat, please. Customs. It's just customs, actually. Just customs. customs. With yeah. M. Customs. With M. Customs. 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 Mm -hmm. How did Okay, so mm, mm, look at the term location or station where a carrier receives a shipment from a shipper for transportation to the destination. The point of origin, where is this product coming from? Do you think China is a point of origin for many products? Yes, it's a big. A big point of origin. Yes. Okay. Any other? Taiwan. 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 Okay. Indonesia. 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 Indo mm -hmm. Indonesia. 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 Yes. We're only thinking about those countries, you know. What else? Germany. USA, United States, the USA. Yeah. Where do you think we import the tires from? Where do tires come from? Who's the biggest tire producer in the world? Germany. No. I know you tell me. English, China. China, maybe. We buy many tires from, from China. What about India? India produces, Maybe. They have the, the raw material. India has a lot of raw material to produce tires. Okay, good. So that's a point of region where the product comes from, basically. Market area. What do you think is a market area? Help me. It's a market area. Let's see. Uh, Judy, would you? Geographic area around a city in which the radio and television station based in that city account for a, for a greater promo promotion of the lis listening, viewing public that those based in the neighbor neighboring cities. Market area. Okay, let's go part by part. Geographic area around a city in which the radio and television stations based in that city account for a greater proportion of the listening viewing public than those based in the neighbor, neighboring city. Again. This is market area. So what do you understand by this? Can you explain? Target teacher. Market, target market? Target market, yes. Target it market. Is, mm. It is similar. 
It's very similar, very but no, similar. But, but not the same, but the similar. That is, uh-huh, it's not the same. I think this is as far as you can reach, okay? The market area is the farthest, the farthest you can reach. That's your market area. It's like police, for example, in the States. A police officer can pursue can pursue um, a thief, you know, or somebody breaking the law. They can only pursue this person up to the border of the next city or the next state. So if the crime was committed in Chicago, let's say in Illinois, and this guy goes to another city, you know, let's say you go this the crime, let me make it simpler for you. The, the crime was committed in Chicago and this guy runs away from the police and he goes to Boston. Chicago, Boston, same state, okay. What happens? The police cannot pursue this guy in Boston. He must let him go. Did you know that? Okay. You don't see movies, right? Very yeah, often. yeah. Okay, so that's an example of, okay, of a market area. They can only cover certain area and that's it. Now, in this example of radio and television, uh, has that happened to you when you go to Soyapango or you go through La Carretera de Oro and suddenly the radio goes off? You're, you're listening to the 80s rock and roll on Radio laser and suddenly you start listening to what happened right right what happens okay i remember when i was a kid i used to wait at 12 midnight to listen to radio to radio astral radio astral because in santa ana you know they they had another radio station on 94.9 and at midnight the radio astral used to jump in you know for for a few hours that's crazy okay transportation infrastructure let's listen to this transportation infrastructure 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 transportation infrastructure transportation infrastructure infrastructure go Infrastructure. 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 <laughs> okay, transportation infrastructure. Difficult word. Transportation infrastructure. Okay, so we have basic and usually permanent framework which supports a superstructure and is supported by a substructure. Right. Transportation infrastructure basic and usually permanent framework which supports a superstructure and is supported by a substructure. What is framework? Frame work. Frame mark. What is framework? It's like a template. A template. Uh, in my in the context of my area framework is is used to the the structure that that they are made for for someone and you can use re, reuse the structure to, to do uh, something that you you have to use only to implement but you don't have to to development like like libraries libraries that i can add to my to my projects and use mm -hmm. code from another copy. development copy from another developer uh, so something yeah. like that this is it's not copy but you can use all the the, the feature that something development that someone developed someone developed 
yes, it, it's a, uh, there are a lot of frameworks for different language, programming language, and you can use something, awesome. something are, some are uh, free and another, you have to pay for them. Okay, transportation infrastructure. It's like an so, uh, area that you have everything to develop something. It's the basic then. As it says, basic and, un and usually permanent framework. So that's the base transportation, the basic transportation, which supports a superstructure and is supported by a substructure. So it's just different. Um, how did you say? Uh, Lota? Scheme. Remember? No. Fleet. 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 It's very similar to float, but no, fleet. Okay, so the fleet, terminal, the terminal, great movie with Tom Hanks. Okay, so the terminal, a facility used to facilitate your goods. <laughs> a facilitate, a facility used to facilitate your goods. Awesome. <laughs> uh, this is so clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A terminal is a place where products arrive and they are distributed to other places or splitted. Okay. They are splitted in other trucks, for example. Okay. They split them to other trucks, for example. That's the terminal. Yes. Loading terminal. A facility used to facilitate your goods. Okay. This could be um, like a hub, you know, the way we saw in the video with Amazon. And this is a hub. Let's see. Transportation hub. Johnny. An airport, train station, etc. that is used by a large number of people. An airport, train station, etc. is a job that is used, used by large numbers of people. Okay? And that's a hub. That is a hub. It's very similar, but the hub is Chicos, eh, si están viendo tele, por favor, bajen el volumen o apaguen su micrófono en lo que no están participando. Please. Okay. So, an airport, a, a train station, etc. You remember Harry Potter? Harry, Harry, oh my God. Harry Potter. Harry, oh, uh, Harry yes. Potter, right? He used to go to the train station, the same thing. That's a hub. And a hub can have multiple terminals okay a hub a terminal hub a transportation hub can have multiple terminals I'm, i love this topic um, i i like to uh give you i would like to give you an idea of a transportation hub have you ever seen a transportation hub no idea no, no, like an airport. Yep, it was the Dallas. Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth. I think it was Dallas, Fort Worth. Dallas, Fort Worth. Hey, there it is. Oh, come on, Brian. Can... Sorry. Just one minute. This is, um, for me, this is very impressive. There it is. Just to give you an idea of what a hub looks like. And if you have a minute, just take a look at it on Google Maps. This is a hub, a huge hub. You see each aircraft 
is on a terminal. You see the little tube, the little tube coming here? These are air um, passengers, passengers uh, going into the aircraft. And see this guy here, this yellow train? You see that? That is to carry the people around. Look at look at how long, how long the train is. Here comes a stop, you know. Here you can go into the train and then you have to go through the railroad all the way to your terminal. It's crazy. I mean, this is one of the biggest hubs in the United States, the Dallas Fort Worth. It's in Dallas, Texas, Dallas Fort Worth. And they actually have transportation from the hotel to the airport. And then you can get lost. Do you think you could get lost in an airport like that? Okay, yeah, definitely. Totally. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, more terms. And this is just what we said, right? Okay, dryage. 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 What is that dryage, um, Alexander? Yeah, dryage. Okay, transporting goods a oh. short distance. Uh, the meaning? No, 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 read, read, please. Okay, transporting goods. Mm. Transporting goods. Mm. Goods. Mm. <laughs> transporting goods. Mm. Goods. Transporting. Uh, transporting goods a short distance. Via via ground freight or the charge of for such as transport in a fridge 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 forwarding typically used to describe the truck the truck trucking trucking service from an ocean port to a um, rail ramp warehouse or other destination again right good, right good transporting goods a short distance via ground freight or the charge for such a transport so by this they're referring a uh, ground freight you know a regular fee you pay uh you pay the same amount all the time for ground freight. Transporting goods a short. Okay, for ground freight. Or the charge for such a transport. So they wait, they wait. Transporting goods a short distance. Okay, they, they wait your load. They wait your load. Caroline, I hope you're paying attention to this because this is vocabulary for you actually. Um, so they, they wait your load, you know, the, your merchandise. And then they put the price. Same thing happened here in the Salvador, right? If you hire, if you hire transportation services, they they charge a regular fee, a regular charge. They may charge the distance if it is far away, and they may consider as well the weight or the kind of products that you're transporting, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So in freight forwarding, typically, 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 used to describe the trucking service from an ocean port to a rail ramp, warehouse or other destination. So what are we talking about? We're talking about this little guy, this little yellow guy here. See that? So that will be a, uh, what's the name? Dredge. 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 This is a dredge. You see, you see the railroad or the train around the airport? Okay. That's it. It's the type of transportation. Intermodal transportation. This is boring. Let me read it for you. 
movement of containerized unita, unita, unitized, unitized, unitized cargo over air, land, or sea through the use of different transport modes, aircraft, truck, rail, boats, ships, barges, what is barges, etc. Capable of handling containers, barges, embarcaciones, barges. Hmm. Okay. And that is intermodal transport. Remember what I talked to you about how Chinese used to build computers, having just the motherboard on the ship and then stopping at a port for the case of the computer, stopping at another port for the keyboard and so on. You remember? Yes. So this is the intermodal transport. Intermodal transport. Transport. Intermodal transport. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Distribution center. This is easier. Distribution center. William Alexander. Facility that is usually smaller than a firm's main warehouse and is used for receipt, temporary storage, and redistribution of good goods according to the customer orders as they are received. Also called branch warehouse or distribution warehouse. Mm. Thank you, a perfect William. Good job. Nice pronunciation, bro. Hey, does this ring any bell? Have you ever heard of Bandesal? I was about to say Bandesal. No. There's a deposit from Banco. There was a deposit from Banco Salvadoreño. That's uh how do you say aduana? Custom. Um, customs. Customs. That's a custom customs. <laughs> That's a custom customs area where you can. Did you know? In case you didn't know, there is a place where if you are importing, for example, when I used to import tires, you know, I work for this company importing tires. We used to import one container worth again one container worth 46 between 46 and 60 thousand dollars one container worth 46 up to 60 thousand dollars from india from the point of origin and then this container used to go come through earth you know by by land i'm sorry by ground transportation, by ground transportation. They used to go through customs in Guatemala. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we didn't used to pay because you know, if you if something goes through through customs at the border between the two countries, you have to pay, right? Taxes. You are taxed, but if your products your container used to go to the distribution center, distribution center, then they used to, you had the option of storing, storing your product and just go and grab a little and pay for that little, okay? They used to hold the product for you. Of course, there is a cost to do this. They used to pay for you, basically. The bank used to pay for you I don't know if you, do you find this a familiar thing? Have you heard of this? Mm, it's like, Apple is, the, is you know, like an example for, uh, for probably because maybe when he is going to launch a new iPhone, uh, they have to prepare, to, 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 prepare? to prepare, to prepare them because they have to, to distribute to the all the distribution yeah. center that they have in are around the world for for 
when is the cuando va a ser el lanzamiento it's going to launch you know what yes that that's it that's it you're right her it's the same as the video of amazon right they had yes. their own distribution hub their own distribution center okay i got your point and that's totally right i'm sorry let's see if the other term that i'm looking for comes up uh, a warehouse a warehouse this sound, may sound more familiar uh fernando ah please yes warehouse it's like a bodega facility designed for temporary storage. It is, it is a bodega, a warehouse. Okay, that's a warehouse. So easy. Third party logistics for uh, Fernanda. Oh my God, I'm sorry, Caroline. <laughs> I'm changing your name now. I'm so sorry, guys. Third party logistics. Someone who may be indirectly involved, but is not a principal party to an, an arrangement, contract, deal, lawsuit, or transaction. 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 Good. I can hear myself. Hello. Your conscious. Maybe <laughs> some consciousness. <laughs> nah, I think that Caroline is recording me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So hey, Personal. this is very Caroline. So this this is you, right? This is your company, a third party logistics. Third party logistics. Uh, this is someone who may be indirectly involved but it's not a principal party to an arrangement, contract, deal, or oh, lawsuit or transaction. In other words, I have my company and I need someone to manage my logistics. I don't know how to do it. So I call Caroline and I go like, hey, can you start bringing my products from, 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 the customs, you know, customs to, to my garage, to my warehouse, to my warehouse. And then Caroline goes, yeah, sure. I'll just charge you a fee for bringing your products from, from customs to your warehouse. Okay. So Caroline takes care of <laughs> the logistics. Now question, if the, if the product was defective, if the product um, was broken, can I sue? Can I sue Caroline's company? No. But, and I don't understand. What do you mean when you say suit? A lawsuit. Una demanda. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. You're third party, um, a subcontractor, an outsourced company. Mm, maybe I, I don't know. Uh, but don't it, know. it's it's depend. It's up to the contract, the contract uh, to the client, um, because the transportations can can be how do you say liberarse free brief free free uh, um my um for example my boss uh uh talk and and with the uh, the client? Uh, no, 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 but uh, the abogados. Lawyers? Uh, the lawyers, the boss lawyers uh, describe in a contract uh, these situations. The terms. They define the legal terms of the contract. Yeah. Yes. But I, I bet you part of it is that if I hire your services, I cannot sue you. I cannot sue you 
I cannot sue you if something happens. If the merchandise was broken um, and it wasn't in transit, you know, it wasn't in transit, then it's not your fault. I mean, that's why it's a third party. If the product was defective, it's not your fault. You're just doing the logistics. Yeah, uh, as far as I know, and this is like the, the company is in charge to in charge of to give to give the 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 products inside the the transportation and the people the third party only drive the car. Or, yeah, that's it. That's right. Okay, I got your point, Alexander. Yes, they don't they don't even touch, smell, see. The product and just transport it. Haven't you seen the transporter with Jason Staten? No, Mr. Transportador with Jason Staten. Ah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was so movie. He, he cannot smell, touch, or see the product. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, you don't know what you're transporting. Just take it. Take it where you're going. Okay, Saro. J E, I'm sorry, J I T, just in time. This is so easy. Just in time. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mario? I mean, Miguel? Oh, demand. Private inventory system in which materials, parts, sub uh, assemblies, and support items are items. delivered. Items, 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 items are delivered, used when needed, and neither so sooner nor later. Its objective is to eliminate product inventories from the supply chain. Hmm. Driving inventory system in which materials, parts, sub assemblies, and support items are delivered just when needed, and neither neither sooner nor later, just in time. Its objective is to eliminate product inventories from the supply chain. Give me your own opinion about this. An example of a product that is delivered just in time, not through inventories or, or stock of product. Think, 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 think. Tires? No. Tires, you can have a huge inventory. Just food? Food. Ooh. Food. Perishables? Perishables? Yeah. Could Definitely, be. that's an example because if you keep a stock of inventory of avocados, right? Attains. Yeah, they, they are perishable. It's totally true. Okay, but the point is to eliminate product inventories from the supply chain. You just transport them, move them every day. Okay, demographics. I'm going to read this for you. Boring. Specific demographic factors which identify and distinguish a target population or market. You can also see psychographics, psychographics. Okay, that's demographics. We started this before, remember? What identifies in a specific population or market? What makes them uh, more popular than others? And so on. Con wait. Containerization, containerization. 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 This is a tongue twister. Containerization. Containerization. Okay. Transportation of cargo in containers. That's it. With a standardized handling equipment and without handling the contents. Does that ring any bell? No? Yes. Luis, what do you think? Yes, yes, as well. 
Yeah, it's what you see on the on the news, right? How they move the big containers with these huge machines. How did you say grow in English? Crow, no. Grow. No crow. I can't remember. Crew? Yeah. Crow. Spell it. No. Spell it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Come on. But, uh, yeah, I remember the word, but I know. Um, crawl. C R A W L. Yeah. Crawl. Something like. Yeah. But it's totally. not crawl. It's not like crawling. No, it is a crawl. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's it. I'm going to send you this, guys, so you can study more terminology. We have supply chain. Um, we have supply chain management, procurement. This is on your book as well. The business functions of procurement, planning, purchasing, inventory control, traffic, receiving, incoming inspection, and savage, repeat, savage operations. Savage. Salvaje, salvage. Grain, C-R-A-N-E. Thank you, Alexander. That's our uh, Grua. Thank you. And Savage Operations. Okay. I'm going to send you this link so you can continue. It's a total of 23 new words that you should include for this module. For now, let me do the attendance. It's 9.07. It's 9 o'clock on a Thursday. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivet Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you, Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Johnny, your microphone. Wow. Uh, Heidi, no. A Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. We're going together today. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Oh, okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Leima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abad. Okay, thank you. Tonight I'm staying with Coraline. For 10 minutes, please, after the class, let's eat some food with us. Okay, good. Okay, now we're moving to page 19, and you're, you're about to discuss what we just talked about. So vocabulary, find the meaning of each word. For example, you have logistics, supplies, procurement, which we just saw, distribution, Maintenance, by the way, you don't say maintenance, you say maintenance, 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 okay, maintenance. No se complican con según dicha letra, maintenance, maintenance, just maintenance, you see. Inventory management, inventory management, supply chain. So put the number on the right, in the parentheses, okay? Find sense to this. Now, for today activity, I'm going to split you in these groups, but you must, okay, I will go group by group and give you a product. And you have to determine and be very specific, use vocabulary on the decision, uh, on the planning, on the planning of how you're going to bring that product to El Salvador. So I'll give you the product and I'll give you the country, the point of origin. Got it? To each group. Got it. 
excellent. Very good. So I'll go one by one with you and let you know, okay, for example, you're bringing a um, hmm, hundred tons of beans. You're bringing a hundred tons of beans from Japan. Beans from Japan. What are you going to do? Okay, how are you going to do it? What kind of packaging would you use? Okay, does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's work in teams. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Okay. This is page 19. You just need to put the words together with each definition. Page 29. Page 19. Ah, 19. Mm -hmm. Yes, in my letter. It's on your WhatsApp too. Okay. Ah, my dog is barking. Okay. <sighs> Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses. Supply other... chain. Supply chain. Yes. Process of supplying goods to yes. stores. Okay. Yes, it's a distribution. In other businesses. Distribution. For me, it's distribution. Distribution. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This distribution is a process. Uh. The network created amongst different companies producing and distribution. The product. product network. Network that is a supply chain, maybe. Maybe. Yes, maybe it's a supply chain. Supply chain. Hmm. Number seven. Cadena de suministro. Hmm. Well. The network. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, the ongoing process moving parts and products into 
and out of a company's location. Location. Mm. Maybe logistic. No. Oh, yes. Yes. You can find it's uh -huh. process. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, maybe logistics. Mm -hmm. You're going. Coordination. And out for the company location logistics. The coordination of the location. The coordination of an operation. No, logistics is the coordination of an operation mm -hmm. involving many people. Mm -hmm. yes, that is logistic. Mm -hmm. So the going process. Inventory management. Maybe inventory mm, management fine. is Ma the ongoing. Inventory. It's management. It's inventory management. The process what of keeping it? something in good in good condition. Um. Maintenance. The act of obtaining or buying goods and services. Uh, supplies. Okay, supplies. The amount of proof of service mm, no. for no, sale. Yes. Pro Procurement. Procurement. Okay, yes, 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 you are right. Because supply so is there, is there, it is. The amount. Three. Okay, do you have your topic on your chat in Zoom? After you're done with this, you're almost done, I can tell. Check the, uh, what I just sent you, hazmat products coming from Germany to El Salvador. How should you transport them? Do a research with your classmates so you can prepare a small presentation, okay? Okay. What is hazmat? <laughs> Hashmap. Hashmap. Um, products, uh, dang dangerous products. Dangerous products. Dangerous products. materials. Okay. Like aerosol paintings, for example. Paints and aerosol. And so on. Okay. General yeah. information. Or, yes, or general logistic information. information. No, no, no. Logistic information. How will you transport that cargo that flight from from um, Germany to El Salvador. Okay. okay. Number six. Hello. Yeah. Number six. Inventory management service. The new work trade among different company producing and the distribution products. Which one? Inventory and administration. Inventory and administration. What is inventory and administration? Ah, yeah. Inventory management service for you, which one? I just sent you your product to your Zoom chat. How will you import tulips from Canada? To El Salvador. Got it? Try to make a little presentation on how would you import tulips from Canada to El Salvador? Okay. 
Sorry, Fisher, I didn't hear you. I just hear Kana to El Salvador. Um, it's on your Zoom chat, on your Zoom chat. How would you import tulips from Canada to El Salvador? Oops, with the contain, the, with the thermo key contain, only that. That's it? Yes, only that, you need a, a thermo key contain. So you will just put the flowers inside the container and that's it? <laughs> oh, <'cause> I, <laughs> it's so easy, man. That's easy. No, yeah, I just so throw them inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. Let's go. It's so difficult from Canada, teacher. It's so long. Come on. Think it's about so it. it's so low. Only the fly because the tulipans, tulipans, tulips, tulips. Yeah, tulips. there's a flower. Yeah, the flower. The life is so. So small. Their only, only lifespan. Their lifespan is so short. How would you yes, do it? How would you do the, it? Only with the with the airplane. But with the airplane, it's so difficult because the the price is so expensive. You will never sell two tulips. Think about because it. Be creative. Find a way. Yeah. I think uh, we can use a container, but the flowers mm, that are grow up, no, with the flower. Uh, Not the um, the buttons. Yeah. Okay. Mm, for the reason we you you have one month the the flowers can grow up and you but you can use a container. Uh, King, they say. Erwin knows the name. Erwin knows the name. Yeah, yeah, Erwin. Yeah. The uh, container. Uh, free the freezer. The freezer container. Freezers, container. With the container, but the. Ah, thermo thermo king, thermo king thermo container. But but in okay. one week. Think about it. One, Think one about it. Is... You have to come up with a little presentation, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do it. Teamwork. Oops. Product or your service. Inventory management. Right. But the service you had through inventory management. Yeah. I'm confused with that because I don't know if we use inventory for the service. And I don't know what is well, number three. Procurement. 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 What is the right pronunciation of that word? Procurement. Procurement. Teacher, we are lost. Why? We are so confused about the meaning of that every word. Really? That to obtain. Yes. The act to obtain or buying goods and service. I am sure only oh. but number five. <laughs> procurement is procurement. Domain <laughs> is procurement. Uh, well, we think that maintenance is the process of keeping something in good conditions. But okay. with the other six, I don't know. Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to customers, to consumers. Mm. Well, that will be logistics. Uh, process supplying what? goods. To a store in other business process of supplying goods sales. to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. 
That's not no, 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 that's distribution. That's distribution. Yeah, that's easy. Distribution. <laughs> okay, well. Supply chain: the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Supply chain. The ongoing mm -hmm. process Change. of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. That is logistics. Let's see. Oh. And the, question, the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Inventory management. No, that's inventory management is the process of keeping something in good condition. And what is maintenance? I'm sorry, no, 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 wait. The amount of a good no, or just... service offered for sale, that's uh, inventory management. Inventory management. Uh -huh. Inventory management. Maintenance, you're right, is the yeah. process of keeping something in good condition. And your distribution. Okay, so distribution and network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Uh, then you have procurement. Of obtaining or buying goods and services, procurement, the act of obtaining and or buying goods and services, procurement. We'll see it. We'll see it in detail. Okay, I, I have to give you your topic, so you can start creating a a presentation. Just a minute. So we're gonna bring cheese. We're gonna bring Monterey cheese from California. Okay. The cheese is coming from Monterey, Monterey, California. That's the name of the of the county as well, the city, Monterey, California. Okay. How will you transport it from the point of origin to the to the point of sale? How would you transport it from the point of origin to the point of sale? That's your presentation about it. It's just explaining what would you do, Jocelyn, uh, Sulema, Johnny, and Ada. Okay. okay. Okay, just a small presentation. Okay, I think we will buy the cheese in California and we will hire someone to move it to the nearest port then we will hire a contract uh, by ship or uh -huh. airplane by ship. It's cheese, you know, Monterey cheese. Think mm -hmm. about the product. And what is the point of sale? Point of sale, the final destination. Mm -hmm. Who is going to sell the product? It's up, it's up uh, of us. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, but Point of origin, you have it, is Monterey, California. Mm -hmm. The point of sale is El Salvador. Okay. It's the final destination. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. We were yes. waiting for you, teacher. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're we're in exercise number six, right? Yes. Okay, now I'm supposed to give you your topic. Hold on, so you can prepare yes. the presentation. Okay. Hmm. Easy. Teacher. <clears throat> Teacher, but by the way, there is a mistake with the platform, the unit two. On unit two, too. Yeah. Uh, we will see it. We'll see it. The the the, the first exercise. I'll check it right now. Mm -hmm. You're bringing bananas to El Salvador from Panama. La chiquita, la chiquita. <laughs> yeah. Bananas. Chiquita. Bananas. What is the company? 
Yes, the brand of bananas. You've never bought bananas, La Chiquita, from a super yes. supermarket? Yeah. yeah. Just a dollar in, in the stoplight and some of them. 14 bananas, 14 bananas for a dollar. That's a good business. Okay, how would you do it? What kind of transportation we will use, you know? Okay. Okay. It's just a short exposition, your thoughts, you know, what were your findings, you know, do a search on Google, do a research really quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll have we'll have like eight minutes to prepare. So this is, this is the easiest one. Eight minutes. You come back here. <laughs> Porque no querían que regresar aquí, que ya... ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Cuándo estás durmiendo? I am I am reading about the, the risk of transportation for different kind of products. Chemicals. Chemicals. Chemicals, perishable, not perishable products. Wait, but those are not the uh -huh, those are not hazard products. The, I mean perishable items are not hazardous materials. Yes, in actually fuel, when, fuel. when I the, found the, that hazard materials can be liquid, solid liquids? or solid. Liquid. Solid and gas, gas, gas. Flammables. Flammables. Flammable items. Flammable items, okay. I actually, I didn't find anything about how product can be transported to El Salvador, but in general, only Find rules and regulation. Yeah, that's my this. point. I mean, make it up. Make okay. it up if you need to. Okay. <laughs> Actually mentioned this that exist in the form of international agreements. It means it's in general for every country. I didn't get that. Yeah, I, I mean, these rules and regulations are designed for uh, international agreements. Uh, I mean, for in general for different do you mean the handling of these products is regulated yeah but the, the rules are the same for for each for each country mm. okay that's interesting yes and maybe it depends of the of the hazmat product the, the kind uh, they need different conditions to to be transported. Of course. And some products. Uh, are forbidden to transport by by air.
Teacher, and the, the question, how would you transport it from pool to post? What does poor post mean? Oh, P-O-O -O and P-O-S? Yeah. yeah. Point of origin, point of origin, where the yeah. product is coming from, and point of sale, which is El Salvador. Okay. Sale. Point of sale. Point, point of origin and point of sales. For two. Let me everyone, please. That is why. For to sell. Point of sale. Por eso es que no. Por eso. Post. Post. Donde, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Venta, yeah, you got okay, it, right? Yeah. Post. Point of job to, point of job to sell. Point of sale. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay, guys. Bless you. Thanks. Oh, my God. Nine minutes. Entonces, en resumen. I think, but. <laughs> La parte de la no encuentro nada, no sé, o sea, solo eso. Okay. Okay. Point of origin, uh, we use a. Uh, no, the container is just a truck uh, to the airport. And, Use a flight transportation. Y cuando yeah. llega, por ejemplo, acá. It's the same. No, Pick up and put in the truck. Teacher, Sandrita, are you here? Sandrita, why you didn't say anything? I think Sandra, Hello. Sandra, Sandra you were you were on group number four, right? On the other group. Yes, I have a problem with my connection, connection the internet is very low uh, this moment let me take you with them then okay i'm sending you with group number four again with how are you doing? Um, uh, well, uh, we don't have a computer to make yeah, a presentation, it's okay. so. It's okay. Just, I just need you to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> we um, are agree about uh, the best way to move our product uh, where uh, our cheese. Uh, from California to El Salvador is with a special truck, refrigerator truck. Here we know. Here we know the name of this truck. Yeah, but I don't. I can't remember. <laughs> Me neither. I hate that. I always forget the name of these containers. Uh, King. King something. God. Ice King or King Ice? I don't. Know. Thermal King. Ah. Thermal. <laughs> thermal. 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 Thermal King. Uh, how do you say uh, por tierra, by land? Uh, ground transportation. Ground? Ground transportation. Okay. 
Ground transportation. Transportation. Ground. Ground. The ground transportation. Okay. Yeah, maybe send the last group to see how they're doing, and we will come back in three minutes. Okay, Wait. teacher. Uh, fresh in, in yeah, right. more fresh and light. Yeah. Or according to the company, the investment in the in this new service will result in fresher bananas and a longer shelf life. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Thanks to the new and efficient efficient containers that use software, yeah? that use software to automatically regulate the container compression. It's good, this. Container. Oh, it's really good. Okay for me. Yeah. You say, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. In this page, it says, as each new container is 50% more efficient than previous models. Models. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> Brighton does words. Kill words. Oh. 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 <laughs> you didn't get <laughs> <laughs> I was remembering Shrek right now. I don't know why. Yeah. It's so funny. Okay. You want some, you want to make us explode. Come on. I'm gonna make you smile. <laughs> it's Thursday. Tomorrow is our last day of the week, and then we just have three weeks. That's it, just three weeks. And I don't know why time is running so slow. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel like time, the days go by so slowly? Yeah. Yes, teacher. We really want Because speakers. we want vacations and we want the bonus. True. <laughs> okay. Hey, who, who regretted? I mean, Someone was already sharing the screen. Go ahead, be my guest. Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, a it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Don't be shy. <laughs> it's a, uh, well, the super shine. Don't worry, you're group number two. I'm going to start with group number one, Alexander Fernando Jury, and when. This is simple. Okay. Are you ready, guys, or do you need more time? No. Yeah. Okay, all yours. Uh, well, uh, in my case, uh, in our case, we read uh, something that they can find in, on internet. So in my case, uh, I I was reading about the how how what are the, the the rules to to transport 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 this this 
kind of mer merchandise. Uh, the, there are a lot of, not a lot, but they are uh, standards to transport this merchandise. Uh, it, it depends of the, of the, how do you say, medio, like, if you if you are going to transport this merchandise by air, there, there are there is a, a there are a, a standard there standards. Are standards there are standards. There, oh, there is a standard specific, for example, for by air, by ship, by a. Uh, Ground transportation, uh, rail transportation, rail. Yes, it, it depends of the standard. The the, the, the merchandise are class, classific, classified, classified, classified by by class. Mm -hmm. For example, the, there is a normal uh, norma, normative ADR is uh, by uh, how do you say carretera? By road. By road. So they had explosions, explodes objects, gas, flammable liquids, uh, 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 organics, organics, uh, material raw, uh, raw material, ma yeah, ma material radio radioactive, radioactive. The radioactive materials. So, the it depends of the of the danger. They are the, the class is is up. For example, mm -hmm. the, the the explosive materials are clay class one, and materials radio radioactive are class seven. It, it, this is specific for the the standard on rod. And in and two, you you has you have you have a, a grade or yes a grade on embalage of the product is depends of the kind of material that you want to to you want to to transport to transport. So if if you don't uh, you don't comply comply this normative when the with the, this normative. With this normative, uh, when the, the product uh, arrived to the to the destined destined country destination, they reject the, these products, and mm -hmm. you can you can find you can finish the the exporting the export exportation of uh, this product importation sorry. importation. importation. Okay. If yes, you don't comply with these regulations, you can lose the shipment or the merchandise. Can yes, you and, and you have to, to use a, con a specific container for a specific kind of products. For example, okay. You can use a box, you can use a barrel, and that, and that container have to complain standards too. They, they like. have they they have to be labeled labeled how do you say etiquetar? Yeah, you got it labeled. Labeled uh, correctly. They have to to uh, have a an a on number in, in some in some cases. The the number because they they needs the appro the the approval from the from the ONU. and. They they have to to they they have to how do you say? Mm, tiene que tener una imagen, una imagen representativa del peligroso de, de, de los peligrosos que hay productos. Yeah, I, have you seen guys how uh, containers have this uh, these signs, these labels, and they are switchable. They they can be switched into something else if, if it is gas if it is acid you know they they just change the um the sign okay fair great job great job we read some things we could find on the internet 
podrías encontrar, que podríamos encontrar en internet. Okay. Uh -huh. You were saying rail transportation. Rail transportation. Okay. Raw material. Raw material. Mm -hmm. Depending on the hazard they represent, depending on how hazardous are they. Okay, look at these sentences. Yes. The container must comply. Must comply that with standards too. That container must yeah, comply probably. with standards. Yeah, probably from ONU. ONU is in English the same. Uh, no, or, it's the UN. The, UN. Ah, UN, yes. The United okay, Nations. UN. Okay. Just don't remember. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let's move on. Next. Ada Irwin, Josue, and William. Okay, guys. Hey. Hi, teacher. Oops. <clears throat> I will try to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment, please. Okay. okay. Oops. Oh, this one. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Hi guys, how are you? Okay, uh, my group will, will talk about a good problem, but we can explore the possibility to have a business about the flower from Canada. Because we have a good competition, the other flowers from Guatemala, and Guatemala, and Guatemala the cost is the low cost of the logistic transportation to El Salvador. But we will try to import tulips from Canada. My guys, uh, we find a one company in, you know, in, from Canada that they are a farm and they give out, give out the tulips. And we think about the supply chain and the first we will pack it, we will, we will uh, to have the, the, the factory or the farms to give, to give us the flower with the packet with the low, with the low time, okay? With a protect packet. And if you import the flowers, you can use it, the bot or airplane. With our uh, group, we think about the airplane, the airplane to take the flowers, and we will uh, speak about with the factory. Give give us the transportation by mobile equipment like with Thermokin from Canada to airport, the Canada. Okay, the the, the factory or the farmers to the airport to Canada. We will help the factory or the farmers, the toilet from Canada, the transportation too, okay? In El Salvador, it's a good problem because uh, uh, the consumption is, uh, is so slowly, but we will try to take out the tulips, the consumption by airplane. And after that, with the supply chain, we will the transportation with the Refrigeration equipment, a, a, a refrigeration mobile like the Thermo King from our uh, a store that we have flower store and we'll send a, a flower to the old person that the customer would like to have the uh, flower different in, in our country. Ooh, very good. Only that. That's great. Okay, different flowers. Different flowers. Yes. Repeat supply chain. Supply chain. Supply. 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 Chain. Chain. Supply chain. Supply chain. Import it. 
import. Imported. 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 Got it? Different yeah. flowers. And remember, adjectives qualify the nouns, and there you go. Okay, we're still missing two groups, and I'll take a screenshot. We're missing Johnny, Roberto, Jocelyn, Suleima, and also Andres, Carolina, Luis, Miguel, and Sandra. Okay, I'm taking a screenshot of these names. So tomorrow, they will just do the presentation at the beginning of the class so we can continue with this interesting topic. I think it was, it was a nice topic. And it's, it's awesome when you think of how, how you will do it. Um, tomorrow is 26. Okay, save. Please keep in mind that you have to be here. Me estaban diciendo por ahí que la plataforma está fallando en la unidad 2 de los ejercicios. ¿Qué número de ejercicio era? 2.2. 2.2. Ok, I'll report it. ¿Qué número de ejercicio era? 2.2. 2.2. Sí. Recuerden que la segunda unidad tiene que estar completa para mañana. Teacher. Midterm. Pero en la segunda unidad eh, no da ese problema y, y el problema también de la primera. Sí, el primero ya lo reporté. Ahora, de la segunda unidad 2.2, la tarea 2.2. Sí. ¿Qué número sería? Porque está del 1 al... 1.7. 1.7. No, no, no. La unidad 2. De la 2 es el primer ejercicio. 2.2. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. The Solo right place. Solo puntúa 18 puntos. Ajá, todo sale bien, pero dice 18 puntos. Ajá. Todos aparecen bien. Ah, oh, de todo. Got it. Okay. So the score. The score is wrong. It will give you 20 points, not 18. I forgot my lesson last day. Mentira. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like in the university, right? I okay. Good guys. Se acuerdan una vez haberle robado un profesor para que les pusiera punto cinco para que pasaran la materia. Shame on us. Okay, guys. Let me do the attendance. I'm staying with Coraline tonight for 10 minutes. Okay. Adap Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present, good night. Good night, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Let's say good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas, Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present to night. Night, night. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernández. Was here. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Liso Mayorellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Yo, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, good night. Y el día de hoy. Imelda Rivas Abarca. Hey, say good night. Right. Wendy, did I mention you? Yes, teacher. I got you. Okay, good night. Good night, teacher. Just let me one minute because I cannot go out myself for this. I can do it for you. Don't worry. Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you. Hello, Coraline. Long Hello. time no see. Why? We haven't we... Been, been together for a long time. Oh, yes, of course. The, the other model? 
last, mo last model last model yes you don't call you didn't call me i didn't call you yeah because you were oyete oh. last model. i didn't know <laughs> yes but it's better because because you but don't want what to is the difference because you don't want to Oh my god, I just can't believe it. You don't want to see me. Okay, I, I understand. I can see you. I know. You said it's better because you could you don't need to stay with me 10 minutes, right? That's why it was better. Oh no, no, come oh, on. Come on. <laughs> no. I didn't know if if I I am hello. Yeah, if you're what I'm listening. Ah, oh, but what happened? <laughs> I'm playing with you. <laughs> Just uh -huh. kidding. Hey, you're improving your English. Really? A lot. That's good. And um, you know what? Uh, um, before I, when I listened to other uh, foreigners or the music, like the music, I didn't, I didn't understand. But now I, you're getting it. I yes, I get or not exactly, but I I get the ideas. And you get the ideas. Perfect. I'm getting it. I'm getting. I'm getting it. 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 Estoy, estoy I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting, getting it. it. I'm getting it. Aquí está tu área de oportunidad. Tus labios son muy delgados, tu boca es algo estiradita. Está bien, ok, pero fíjate lo que estás haciendo, me estás diciendo I'm getting it, I'm getting it I'm getting it, I'm getting it I'm getting it I'm getting it getting it I'll write it down I'll repeat it please I'm getting it I'm getting it there you go I'm okay, getting it getting it this is more American I'm getting the hand of it I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting. Look at your chat. Look at your chat. I'm getting the hang in it. The hang of it. I'm getting. I'm getting. The hang of it. The hang of hang of it. Okay, slow. I'm. I'm getting. Getting. The. The. The hand of it. Hand of it. You got it. Hand of it. Muy bien. So, buen imitando. Eso es, es lo que acabas de hacer. Acabas de imitar, eh, imitar mm -hmm. mi articulación. Viste que yo dije mm -hmm. the y tú lo hiciste. Perfect. But slowly. Yeah, slowly. <laughs> That's right. Sí, funciona. Este, no sé. funciona. Okay. Uh, what else? So, what are you doing? What are you doing to improve your English? For improve. Uh -huh, to improve your English. What are you doing? Oh, pay attention to the words when... To, to the words. Mm -hmm. To words uh, because before I, I, I'm a distracted person, so... No. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I don't, don't know tell you. Me. I don't know you. I don't know. But I I know. Uh, I don't know. Just I listen the no, I just hear the the people talking, but I but I didn't pay attention. You didn't and you now didn't. You didn't oh, use the uh, it, yes, use. I used. I. You didn't. I don't use. Uh, I didn't, didn't use. 
I didn't use to pay attention. So nowadays I I I understand that the oh, I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand the the people. Um like you told you told me um, I need more confidence for to talk. No estoy segura si estoy agregando muchas proposiciones. You're doing it perfect. Ah, oh, okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Honestly. So how how's Alan doing? Uh, this month or this season is difficult. I I'm new uh, in a comp I'm just new in a company, but in this season I I see the Alan very tired. I see um, the Alan. The old Alan. <laughs> I see Alan, my co-worker. <laughs> Don't tell him, please. <laughs> He's gonna see you on YouTube. Don't worry. Mm, but I, I, I told him your your greetings. Um, Very busy. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, I guess you guys, you guys go with logistics the whole month, right, until the end of the year, I guess. Yes, and I was telling to the my partners in this course uh, because actually I am I am a trainee, training uh, about sick of labor of safety. Occup occupationally occupational safety mm -hmm. um, and I'm learning about the the works or the jobs the works uh, or the jobs it's it's accumulating oh your for tasks me. Your uh, yes tasks. my my task is accumulating uh, because and in a training, I stay all day. Mm -hmm. um, I spend I spend the whole day on training. I spend I spend my time all day. Um, in training. So, for example, today, oh my God, the traffic because I pass on la, los chorros. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my God, <laughs> I try to be on time, but um, when I reach, when I reach my at home, I'm so hungry. Mm, so sometimes <laughs> I, I take off, no, turn off, turn off the, the radio. No, la pantalla, la, the camera. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, I haven't dinner, teacher. <laughs> you haven't had dinner? Oh, you're having dinner when you're in the class. It's okay. Yes, but um, what else? So um, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful yes. with the with the stress. Okay, you should you should get a gringo. Why? <laughs> to, get, <laughs> to, to get distressed. Para distraerte, to get distressed. De desestresarte, you distressed. And yes, I need practice. to. It's your English. And I need to exercise because I feel the energy, my energy accumulating, and. I don't know, I need to go to round or something like that. You're very hyper. Yeah, you have to burn energies. Well, do it, do it. Sacrifice a little bit more of your time. Right now, after the class, go ahead and do some exercise. At what time do you have to wake up? Uh, uh, just uh, 5.30 or 6 a.m. <laughs> Like that I envy you. I have to wake up at four. You four. And I'm still missing one more hour or two. And I and I complain. 
Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> be happy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel the time. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Well, it's been my pleasure. Text me, send me a voice note, speak it in English if you want. I'm here to help you. Okay. Okay. Yes, because I have a doubt. <laughs> Please go ahead. Do it. Okay. okay. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. See ya.